Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Salman and you're watching the Concept Academy by Ria Solution. In the last part, we have created models. Now we'll be adding the data context in this video. So let's just add a new folder, name it as data. And let's just come back to the app setting. Okay. Here we'll add uh, our configuration related to the database. So I already have done that. So I'm just copying and paste this. So this is the key for database setting. Connection string will be like MongoDB slash localhost because right now it's uh, running on the localhost. And database name is CommonDB. And collection is representing as a table. So uh, collection name is comment. The same configuration I'll paste to the app setting dot development dot JSON file because when you are in the development phase the configuration will be getting from this file and on the production app setting.json will be reading now i have successfully uh, done with the app setting.json so it is better to commit once uh, you are done with one file so i'm committing my file database connection string setup done and let's just commit commit and push it is good practice I always follow that mm, now let's come back to the data context site uh, I'll go to the solution explorer in the solution explorer let's come back to the data folder and add a new class I'll click on the new item and add a interface first for the db context so i'll be naming it as i comment context and make this interface as public remove all the unnecessary references as you can see I cannot violate the rule which I said in the last video so if uh, you haven't seen my last video just go back and watch that video because this is relating to the previous video so let's add a property mm, right we'll be using um, mongodb.driver we have added this nuget package in our first video where, where while we were setting the repository so let's just add a property i mongo collection which is coming from the mongodb.driver and this will be the my uh, model name so what is my model name? model name is comment i'll copy and paste it over here and let's just press control dot using mongodb mm -hmm. this, uh, using comment api dot models right okay i got the problem basically the problem is my project name is also comment and the class name is also comment which i made a mistake so that is why there is an ambiguity so i'm writing this as over here comment api dot model dot comment now it is fine only models dot comment will be okay so i made the mistake uh, my project name and model uh, model entity name is same so let's just add comment context class inherit implement the interface over here just come back colon i comment context add the reference and hmm, let it be we'll write the code in a few minutes let's just remove this set and add is there as comments uh 
right remove also set from here just get and add the constructor first in the constructor we'll write all the uh, configuration for uh, for uh, reading the database configuration from the app setting.json adding all the references mongodb.driver uh, microsoft extension dot configuration now i'll be reading the app setting through the i configuration manager i configuration and the configurations injecting the dependency let's just create client var client is equals to new mongo client and it is asking there are four overloads so the second one is asking for the settings how can i read the setting so let's just go in the app setting as you can see this is the connection string i'll be getting this in this constructor so let's just write configuration dot get value and the value type is string and hmm, here i'll have to write the key the key is a connection string but connection is not directly you will have to write the database in the database we have a connection string colon connection string i'll just copy and paste to avoid the mistake or blunder so my client is ready it will connect me through the mongodb client and var database is equals to client dot get database and here i'll have to configure or get the database so i'll copy the same code from the upline and paste and we'll change from database name connection string to the database name okay the next is okay. comments dot get collection and the collection name is i'll see that from the app setting what to do with this right as you can see i'll have to copy this line and paste over here and we'll rename it to the database collection let's just remember so all these uh, configuration are done we have set the client we have set the database we have set that uh, table or relation now i'll be seeding the data uh, initial uh, you know, initialize the data in the database if the database is getting or uh, running the first time or connecting the application first time so let's just add a f another file and name it as Uh, comment contact seed in that file I'll initialize a method which will be having a hard coded uh, data for the initializing the database so let's just work over here first then we'll call this uh, met a method from this class to the that that class in the context class now add public static void seed data and in this we'll add a mongo collection i mongo collection and the model name is comment and this is my mongo collection name a parameter name and let's just declare a variable 
to check whether the database has data or not okay var is comment exist equal to this mongo collection sorry it is better to rename it as comment collection why to write mongo collection the entity name is comment comment collection dot find p stands to true if any dot any if any data is present it will return true so I will write a condition if is comment exist then we'll do write the code in this will call the method which I'm going to create in this uh, if scope public i enumerable models so as you can see this the mistake which I did is you know making trouble right now I have to write uh, model uh, dot comment over again and again whenever I need this entity name so I think it is better to rename it or you know, just get rid of this uh, all the you know, naming stuff like I have to write models dot comment so uh, I'll, I'll you know refactor this list model dot comment again all right list mm -hmm. new sorry that is why it was big so this is making trouble it's time to you know refactor this i don't want to get more trouble so let's just uh, rename it as comment entity so it won't be affecting uh, you know the code and i don't have to write model dot comment again and again so as you can see I can rename uh, all the you know the uh, comment uh, entity is replaced with the comment entity so I will uh, add the reference the top using comment API dot models and I'll remove all the you know models uh, hard-coded references direct references from the code so I will not have to write again models dot comment I'll just write comment entity so I'm moving over from over here also this is the thing which get done when we don't plan the code or don't plan the architecture and we just jump into the writing the code so this types of error arises as you can see this is the rework I have but in the future it will not you know it will make my work easier so I just decided <laughs> at that point to uh, take over this problem let's just remove also from here and it was I guess last so I'm done let's just add the reference on the top using API dot model it's fine now life easy okay let's just add one more property which I forgot that was object ID because MongoDB saved the data as uh, you know uh, it creates uh, the ID as an object ID so I added ID as a B1 ID representation you'll have to add a uh, reference as you can see on the line 3 I have added using mongodb dot sense realization dot attribute so just add the annotation on the ID also and um, I change that uh, comment text to the text because uh, uh, this is understood in the comment entity text means the comment text why do why to write uh, comment text comment entity adding the record in the 
of uh, list id text is hello world and okay this is the object id and let's come back oh this is the mistake that is why it's giving error so make it as a string so it won't be giving you an error right now so let's just mm -hmm. edit date is date time offset dot now dot utc dot now at the reference because date time is uh, coming from the using system edit date and then edit by oops i put a semicolon remove that edit by and this that's fine now go to definition Oh, it's edit date and make it as unnullable because you don't have to fill edit date. Edit date is necessary when you comment edit date, but it is not necessary then that you modify that uh, comment also. So I make it as unnullable. Let's just copy and paste the same record and add another record, and I'll just change the ID by one last digit and okay there is another full is deleted false because this will be the you know distinction that whether the uh, whether to show the comment or not whether the comment is being deleted or not so let's just change the text also and id now i'll be calling this method and first i you know i invert the condition if if is comment exists so i inverted is if not comment exists then insert comment collection dot insert many async that this uh, statement does what it uh, uh, insert the record in the bulk you can add uh, many records at once by using this insert many async so I call this method get initial comments. It's giving me error, so I'll mark it as static. And let's just comment done with the context DB setting. And let's just commit and push. So we can start our work next day. So I hope you like the video. So if you really going well with this then please like share and subscribe see you in the next video allah